So we looked at substitution, how we can solve systems of linear equations by uh, isolating one variable and substituting it into the other equation to, uh, to solve for a variable. One equation, one unknown was the goal. We're going to look at another method today, one called the elimination method. So the substitution method, the elimination method, and then we did graphing as well. So graphing for solving uh, systems, substitution for solving systems of linear equations, and now elimination. We're going to start with a very easy question. Well, easy for us. 3,410 plus 142. But I'm going to walk through this very, very slowly. When we add numbers in this way, when we line them up in this way and we add numbers in this way, we start by adding the ones places together. We add the tens place together. We add the hundreds place together. And of course, we add the thousands place together. And so we've got uh, 0 plus 2 in the ones. We have two ones. We add the tenths place to, or the tens place together, excuse me. 1 plus 4, we've got five tens. We add the hundreds. 1 plus 4 is five hundreds. And we've got 3 plus. Really, there's a zero there. There's no thousands in that second number. There's zero thousands, one hundred, four tens, and two ones. And so if we add the thousands, we have three plus zero is three. So we have 3,552. And that would be our, that would be our answer. So we can add by, by lining up those place values and adding them together straight down the line. We're going to use that same idea, that same mentality, and we're going to add two linear equations. So again, we kind of have this, this system here. This would be our system of linear equations. And we're going to add them together. We're going to go straight down the line. You'll notice the numbers are very similar. We've got 10. Sorry, I'm starting over here with the ones place, or what would be considered the ones place. 10 plus negative 2, 8. And then we've got negative 4y plus 4y. So the y's are lined up. Because just like the tens place would be lined up, or the hundreds place would be lined up, we've got the y's lined up, we've got the x's lined up. So negative 4y's plus 4y's, 0y's. And 0 is nothing, really, so I'm not going to put anything there. So you, you could write a 0 here, 0y's, zero but I'm not going to. Because 0 is nothing, and I'm going to leave it alone. And then we've got the x's. So I've got a 3x plus an x. That gives me four x's. So I've added, very similar to what I did in this first problem, I added straight down the line. I lined up the ones place, the tens place, the hundreds place, the thousands place. I lined up the y's, I lined up the x's, and then the coefficient there. And so I've got 4x equals 8. Well, that's a, a single equation with one unknown. 4x equals 8. I can solve that equation. Divide both sides by 4. I get that x equals 2. So I've solved part of my equation already. I've got that x equals 2. Now I can go back and I can look at these original equations. I've got x plus 4y equals negative 2, and I've got 3x minus 4y equals 10. I need to substitute this 2 in somewhere. So x equals 2. I'm going to choose the second equation, simply because it's got less numbers to worry about. So I'm going to choose the second equation. I'm going to put it right down here. I'm going to say that x plus 4y equals negative 2. I know that x equals 2. So I'm going to write 2 plus 4y equals negative 2. Now I've got one equation with one unknown. I can solve this equation. I can get y all by itself. I'm going to minus 2 from both sides, minus 2 from both sides. I get that 4y equals negative 4. Divide both sides by 4 to isolate the variable. y equals negative 1. So my solution to this system of linear equations would be 2, negative 1. My x was 2, my y was negative 1. And again, the way we accomplished that was by eliminating the y's in that first equation here. The negative 4y and the positive 4y eliminated themselves when I added those two uh, equations together. So I had 3x minus 4y equals 10, x plus 4y equals negative 2. And when I added straight down the line, the y's eliminated. They were canceled off. We didn't have any more y's to worry about. And it was very easy to solve for x at that point. x equaled 2. Once we knew what x was, 
we could substitute that back into either one of the equations and solve for y. So that's the elimination method. What I'd like you to do, if you got it, that makes sense, you think you can do it, go ahead, do this problem. If you don't think you can do it, if you're not sure where even to start, watch the linked video. I suppose you need to know the, the answer before you decide if you need to watch the linked video or not. Uh, so again, a pause it if you think you can do this, uh, give it a shot, and then if you, if you don't get the right answer, watch the linked video. If you're not even sure where to start, watch the linked video and, uh, and see another example before you move on. The correct answer is negative 2, 4. So if you didn't get that answer, if you weren't sure uh, how to start, watch the linked video and see how to do it. Oops, sorry. That was the wrong one. Uh, here we go. Sorry. So here we, uh, we have uh, negative 2, 4. There we go. Negative 2, 4. That's the correct answer for that one. Okay. I'm going to do uh, another example with you. Uh, so I'm going to do this one, and then I'll have you try the last one on your own. And so we've got 2x plus y equals negative 5, and 2x minus 5y equals 13. And we're going to solve this by elimination. You'll notice that if I add straight down the line here, 2x's plus 2x's would be 4x's. Don't write this down yet. y minus 5y would be negative 4y. And negative 5 plus 13 is going to be 8. That didn't help me. None of the variables were eliminated. They're all still there. There's still an x. There's still a y. I cannot solve one equation with two unknowns. Not possible. Sorry. And so we have to do something different. I'm going to get rid of what I have written here because that, that just didn't work. We have to manipulate things a little bit. And this is that thinking process. This is me trying to teach you how to think. Um, if it doesn't work exactly the way it is right now, we have to change it. We have to tweak it so it does work the way we need it to. And so one way to do that is to, well, the 2x and the 2x, those are almost right. If it was 2x's minus 2x's, well, we'd be, we'd be set. That would work. Because if it was a minus 2x, then it would eliminate, and we'd have no more x's to worry about. So let's, let's try and make that happen. If I need that to be a negative 2x, let's just multiply this whole equation times negative 1. So if I distribute, I distribute through the parentheses, all the way through the parentheses, my new system, I'm just going to rewrite the whole system down here, the first equation would be the same. Nothing would change for that first equation. But the second equation, the bottom equation there, would become negative 2x, negative 1 times negative 5, negative 1 times minus 5 would be a positive 5y, and negative 1 times 13, negative 13. Now if I add these two equations together, 2x's minus 2x's, 0x's. So if I add the x's together, I get 0x's. y plus 5y, I'm going to get 6y, 6y, and negative 5 plus negative 13, I'm going to get negative 18. Now I have one equation with one unknown. Those x's eliminated, and so I can solve for y. I divide both sides by 6, get that y equals negative 3. Now I can choose any of the equations I have, pretty much. Uh, I've got three equations to choose from. Uh, we'll go with the first one. Why not? The first equation was right here. 2x plus y equals negative 5. So I know what y is. So I can say 2x plus, well, y was negative 3. So 2x, 2x plus negative 3 equals negative 5. There we go. Now I can solve for x. So I'm going to add 3 to both sides, plus 3. Negative 3 plus 3 is nothing, so I get 2x equals negative 2. Divide both sides by 2 to get x all by itself. I get that x equals negative 1. So my solution for this system of linear equations is going to be negative 1, negative 3. And again, I got that by solving, or by, by manipulating that equation so that the x's eliminated themselves. There were no more x's to work with, and I could just solve for y. I had to change it a little bit here. I had to say that 2x's plus 2x's didn't work. So I had to change it to a minus 2x. 
and if I change the minus 5 and I change the 13, it still works for you because it's taking the opposite of everything. Okay, give this last one a try. The correct answer is not negative 2, 4. Give this last one a try. I'll put the answer up on the board. Otherwise, watch the linked video and see how it's done. Correct answer for this one is 1, 4. Okay. Good luck on the form. Uh, we're going to keep looking at elimination method uh, over the next couple days, and we'll review these, these three methods as well.